uh, it was shortly after I had had one of my many surgeries that I decided to go in for um, a walk hole bra fitting. And I was filled with trepidation because you, your body changes after you have a myriad of surgeries and sometimes these things don't heal properly. And so I, I, I was hesitant to go, terrified to go actually. And so when I went into the fitting room, you know, as modestly as I could, I knew that there was a young, beautiful, healthy woman coming in with a tape measure to look at me. And so, and you have to disrobe, I mean, to be measured everything has to be off. And so I'm trying to, you know, I've taken everything off, I've got my shirt in front of me and my back is to her. So literally she is unable to do her job. And I'm like, well, you know, I just wanna warn you, this is like a Frankenstein's monster kind of thing under here. And she's like, you know, just turn around and let me look. And I was so afraid that when I turned and showed her what I see in the mirror every day, she would feel the same way in the mirror that, the same way that I feel when I look in the mirror. And um, I turned around and she said, oh, honey, you're beautiful. <laughs> and she said, I've seen so much worse and they're beautiful too. And this woman, this little angel woman, um, she never said you guys or those people. She said, my girls. And she said it over and over again. And I said, who are you talking about? And she said, well, the cancer women that I fit, they're all my girls. And I remember thinking, I love you, and I want all of my daughters to come see you. I want everyone to come see you, because she made me feel not just whole and complete, but normal and decent and worthy of, you know, a, a beautiful garment and a beautiful experience. And I do love her, and I'm grateful for, for this, this beautiful work.